The yin yang, the perfect balance of the world. To good, there's bad. Very bad. To village, there's magwai. To messy, there's. <laughs> and to the year of return in Ghana, there are side effects of the year of return in Ghana. I mean, what did I say again? Balance. <laughs> it has been a very interesting turn of events in the past few days in Ghana. Bro, like this thing was literally a movie. No, you hold up. No, you you hold up. Okay, guys. So now let me summarize everything for every single person to understand and keep up. With. Okay, so all of you guys know who Mick Mill is, right? Well, if you don't, uh, let me do a little reminding. I used to pray for times like this, the rhyme like this. So yeah, yeah. Now, do you remember? No, if you don't, uh, <laughs> I don't. Know. Well, for some time, a long time, we didn't hear of him. Relaxing, I guess. <laughs> then boom, Afro Nation happened. And Mick Mill obviously was there. I mean, if your name is highlighted in white marker, that means you are a real star. So he came to Ghana and he really made his presence known. With a female hiding her presence. And Ghanaians also made their presence known. Short lived but well played. <laughs> my phone, my baby on it. She made it happen for me. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, Commander, the whole Ghana. <laughs> I heard in Nigeria he wouldn't have gotten his phone back. Well, not be me talk, I'm not be me talk. I'm. I beg, I beg, I beg. Apparently, Ghana, let me just say, this government is championing the tourism agenda. Like selling Ghana to the world. Not literally. Well, that has been done already. From the year of return. <laughs> I mean, look at Burna Boy too. And the uh, going to Ghana. Why Ghana? Cause like that's the only place I have like actual genuine peace. Man. I mean, and I must say, it is working to a point. Hey, hey, hey! I don't like politics. I never did. But since we are talking about the musician, that's why I jumped on this topic. Excuse me, please. They've been able to bring Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. <laughs> All this? Uh, wow, just wow. Chance the rapper and Vic Mensa are already Ghanaian, so that doesn't count. They brought Jidena or Jidena, how do you pronounce his name? In a Ghana Air Force. <laughs> wow! Oh my god, I love this country. Mwah. So friendly, so so friendly. Getting treatments that our own landlords haven't even gotten yet. Maybe all niggas. So here's the thing. I think Kojo Seldon said it better. You know, the office of the diaspora, uh, whatever, whatever, and is situated at the presidency. So if McMill passes through the office, uh, the probability of meeting at the DRC, they go back to behind. If you have to do back at the you go meet them. So apparently, when the celebrities come to Ghana, they pass through the diaspora office. McMill is having a good time in Ghana. I think Ghana is indeed the game. You see? You see? And it is situated close to the office of the president. Very close. I mean, close. So most of them, if not all, get to meet the president making him too accessible according to Ghanaians dollars in my pocket I had mar two bags of marijuana in my pocket I never really believed in selling crack and my friends really started hanging out with each other and I got to know him I scaled him because I don't know any powerful system one day because I knew he was extremely powerful from me he came in the back and told me that he wouldn't leave me back there <laughs> now who called for this meeting man <laughs> How can you be saying my one L in front of the president? Oh my god. So guys, the Jubilee House, yes, this place is the home of the president. The issue is that uh, McNeil looks more at home than the president himself. Nigga, swear this man in already, man. Give him the stuff, give him the stuff. So now the problem Ghanaians have is this. I gotta chill, no, I gotta, I'll keep it one in the head. I wanna, I wanna, Give a fuck about what you did. I know that killing nigga ain't gay, so I'd rather buy my mama crib. And yeah, I still believe in prayer. I know that God gonna clean my sins, you know my. Shot a music video in the Flagstaff house. Flagstaff house. So my Nigerian brother, it's more like Potabo shooting a music video in Also Rock. I, I, I'm, I'm not comparing Potabo to Mick Mill. I'm not, I'm not with that. Hey, Mick Mill, hey, to Mick Mill. I'm sorry, man. Hey, that didn't come out of my mouth. I'm, Mm. Yo, can we take our time to appreciate this pose, man? Nigga, this pose is legendary. I mean, legendary. Man, this takes us to the time that Ghana gained independence. Literally. Ghana, we now have freedom. 
Nigga, you look odd here. Man with the honors on the wood. Hey, you hit the ground like that. Hey, my goodness. <laughs> Claiming the land. Hey, you are giving me PTSD, say Mickey. Blessings, blessings, hold up, blessings. Oh, you, you are blessed, I can tell you that. I make up my mind, she fought me, as soon as she met me, hold up. Is that the presidency podium that Nanado used to address the fellow Ghanaians? Wow. Saying fellow Ghanaians and stuff. Man, that podium and I gained connection during COVID times. So. Yeah, I still believe in prayer. I know that God gonna clean my sins. Say, Mickey Mel, you got your prayers answered. Trust me. Do you know the amount of people trying to shoot videos in the flag staff house? Do you know the amount of landlords waiting to get... Hey, hey, no. It, it, it was a mistake. Come on. It, it would not happen again. It's not open to the public. Calm down. Calm <laughs> Do you? So now the problem that Ghanaians have is the disrespect of the Flagstaff house and the hypocrisy in court. I mean, he was using swear words like bitch in Nanado's house. Nanado's house? Hey, how is that championing an agenda of Ghana to the world? Like, tell me, I'm, maybe I'm lost. Like, do you know the amount of gospel musicians in Ghana who lie down on grasses to cry when shooting music videos? I'm not mentioning it. See how nice the grass in the Flagstaff house is, man. Like, you could have made them shoot there instead of say Mickey, you know? Stoneboy, uh, I, I don't know why he put the fire emoji there. If it's to mean that Jubilee is down because the coordinates of the building has been exposed to the entire world by Mick Mill, uh, then I understand. Chatawale also came to give his thoughts. Now, he is basically insulting all those who have a problem with Mick Mill shooting a music video in the Jubilee house. You know, I, I think it's on the rampage right now. He'll calm down later. I like Chatawale, but these tweets don't really make sense like what does this have to do with poverty man like uh, tranquilo tranquilo eh? so guys my thoughts about the whole situation well uh dkb said it better this mcmill issue and eh, i think you look at it from two ways it's better your head is blocking the two ways but carry on carry on those who gave him the go ahead you know to shoot the video i'm sure they saw it with the eye of uh, tourism and heritage like he's come back home to africa and he's giving one of the highest offices to shoot a video express himself the struggles a black man goes through in america so that's how they saw it i don't think they saw it with the eye of uh, deliberately desecrating the authority of the presidency exactly championing the agenda but the lyrics man the lyrics but the problem with Ghanaians is that if you had been given to jay-z you know jay-z will suit up and it will look wicked you'll be speaking things that complement the the coat of arms you know how mandela Kwame, dr Kwame Kuma struggles of african but this is me people had a problem with who wore basketball shorts Wow, basketball shorts, exactly, that's why the people are angry. The rap too, nothing inspirational. Exactly, I, I mean, f***ing a bitch on the first meetup, like, how, how is that my problem? How is that the problem of the people of Ghana? <laughs> Tell me. That is what Nick Mill did, so that's the problem Ghanaians have. All I said, that's the problem. This made me really think that dressing really counts, man. Dressing counts. But Mick Mill did the most respectable thing that a man who f***s bitches on <laughs> <laughs> Guys, he apologized. He apologized. And I'm proud. My apologies to the people, if any disrespect. We're still going to push to make the connection between black people in America and Africa. What I'm trying to do is more than a video, and you should see coming soon. My apologies to the office also. But why did he apologize? Man, that could have replaced the national pledge because that shit is boring. <laughs> blessings, 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 hold up, blessings. Like she said, it's not McMill that we are angry at. But McMill explained further, took accountability. I don't think they knew it was a video footage when we asked to shoot. It's a small camera and one kid. In America, we didn't know this existed and was excited to show because they don't show Ghana on our media much. So I'll take responsibility for my mistake, not intentional. So meaning the people who even gave him the go ahead didn't know how big this thing was going to be. It was just like a small camera just taking pictures and stuff. Like the people didn't even show any signs that it's going to be like a huge production. Whoever allowed that thing to happen should be fired. <laughs> easy tiger, easy tiger. <laughs> I mean guys, look at my GoPro. Look at how small it is. If I remove it right now. Oh shit. See, that's the size. I put it somewhere here. Put it like, you not see it. So it could have been something small like this. And then became big blessings bless <laughs> guys i'm glad you took accountability that's the most important thing is he is he like now you are the one in the middle right now 
talk to the Ghanaians. <laughs> so guys, what are your thoughts about the whole situation? Tell me in the comment sections below. You guys, please leave a like and subscribe. I beg you, please. <laughs> and, okay, I'm out. Peace out. Georgia, by the way you're looking for so African. With that body making me feel nauseous. I'm a bit cautious. I don't